Good afternoon guys, hope you're well. Same course as with Max on either side. You raise your hands, let us know you'd like to ask a question. We'll set an embargo part way through for 10.30 this evening. Is that the time? <coughs> <laughs> Sorry for uh, eight minutes late. Sorry. Um, some fans have clubbed together to uh, raise money for a banner in your honour tomorrow that will have the words in Catalan, we want you to stay. First of all, what do you think about people doing stuff like that? But what's your response to the sense, the sentiment? They have to to bring me the bill to pay. I will pay the band, so I don't want to spend money for that reason. Uh, uh, what can I say? Thank you so much. So um, I fell love. I fell in love since the first day I came here. I was here. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Do you? You, periodically you've mentioned uh, certain things to do with the charges that the team's facing. You mentioned it with Mikel Arteta rather than questions. Because of that, do you feel there is more of a need for you to defend your football club this season and promote your football club? Because you're a very successful individual. The club is the most successful uh, in England, certainly over the last few years. But it feels as though you're feeling that very personally this year. I'm, I'm part of this club, uh, deep inside of, of my bones. And the best way to defend the club is winning games and do my job as well as possible. We cannot misunderstand the reason why I'm here. But at the same time, I'm the person, the managers and all the clubs are the person who talk more through all the media to send a message to the fans uh, or whatever. So, and, and of course, I'm going to defend my club because I trust since the owner, since the, especially the chairman for the relation and CEOs and all the people working here for many, many years. I know them quite well, much more than any of yours. And of course, the people around. And, but the best way to defend is, is the, doing our job the best. You know, every one, every people working here has his own responsibility, my responsibility is try to hold my players in their hands and together to win the games. And this is the best way to defend. The rest, of course, there are situations in eight, nine years that always is there. Some of them are spectacles, some of them are more tough to deal, but it's what it is. So there's no complaints and do what you have to do. And of course, I'm part of this club. So not just the manager, I'm part. I love this club and always will be that way because cannot be differently for the way they treat me since the day one. So it's impossible. When you know, when you give something and they give me a lot, the rest is just you know, it's the consequences. Simple. Hi Pat. Um obviously the fans are asking you directly, do you want to stay? Do you have an answer for them? I I, I said uh, in the beginning of the press conferences I'm not going to talk about this subject. When it's going to happen, it's going to happen. On Fulham then, um, City's record against them is 16 wins in a row. It's the longest run that any team has had. I don't like these questions. I said many times. <laughs> don't tell me. The last time, last time your defeat at home was at Brentford. After one minute, zero one down. Well, I would say Brentford every game is one zero down after the first minute. <laughs> but but uh, the best way is, uh, uh, don't ask me this question, please. Are you aware of the record? No. I had no idea. Do you even no. think about elements like that when you're preparing for matches, what the previous record has been and the, the matches last season, how strong you were against Fulham? Your day yesterday is the same like today? No. So, I would love to say, like, we won 60 games in a row, we're going to start the game 2-0, we're going to win. Only I see the record is the last six games since the first defeat in the United game. They didn't lose. The best moment of Fulham from the, I would say, this season, the previous season is, is there. Marco Silva is already a few years in, there in London. And, and they, they, at, they bought interesting players there, especially Anderson, in experienced guys. So, and it's a team always, 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 at home especially, always created problems in the first half a lot. And uh, they have a lot of weapons, speed. He will be 
I thought the last two, three games, I never see him in many years. I'm here in the form that uh, he's playing. And of course, the speed from Madama Traore always created problems. Jimenez is back. Uh, the structure defensive always have been a tough, tough game. Is only I'm concerned. And what they do, not what they happened in the past. The past, the past. How's the squad looking? Is, is Erling okay? And yeah. any other issues anywhere else? Yeah, everything. But except uh, Nathan, Kevin, and uh, of course Rodri and Oscar, uh, the rest are, are fine. Thank you. Hi, Bab. I just wondered if we can get any more information on Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, it's not for tomorrow. It's not ready. It's not ready, and. We know he's obviously not going with Belgium to nope. the international break, but he's also asked not to go in November. Is that because he's out for longer, or is that because he's... You know, he how how can he go when he didn't play one game? How can he go with the national team? I never understood that. You know, I never understood that. So, but anyway, so he's not, he cannot play with us, cannot play with Belgium, but he didn't say to me, I don't know, he's going to retire for the national team from Belgium. He didn't say that. To me, I don't know in the mind from Kevin, but in the, for that game, for that game is is injured, so it's not available. Um, yesterday, FIFA finalised their regulations for the Club World Cup, and part of it is basically turning around to all the teams and saying you have to bring your strongest players to the states. Now, we you know we've heard from players saying they're worried about playing too many games. Players saying they're preparing for 60, 70 game seasons. What's your reaction to them? What, what is what is the strongest players? Which ones? I mean, I presume it's you can't, yeah, they'll say, look, you can't. No, but the FIFA that. would tell me for them which players are stronger than the other ones. I don't understand that. So are you worried that your selection issue, how you select a team, could be dictated by someone else? No, we go all the squad there. We don't go for one game, right? So I don't know how it's the competition itself right now, but we don't go for 11 players, we go for all the squad. But I don't understand how is a selection this player is stronger than the one. I know. But the stronger it means in, in forms. And maybe the strongest player for them is in really, really, really bad conditions for many reasons. Personal, physical, injuries, niggles. And he's going to play in other ones. I'm not going to tell them I'm not going to send before the games which player has to play. I would decide. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so then back off to this evening. So